Some might say that I'm a loner But I just call it being free I am my heart's only owner Cause now a wildfire is raging deep inside and my heart Hi everyone, I'm Marie from Southern Country Living and I hope everyone is having a great day today. It's beautiful here in Georgia and uh, it also makes me want to go back to Florida though, especially since one of our subscribers moved there and uh, I'm sure she's enjoying <laughs> um, her new place that she's living at today. And uh, I guess that me and Kevin will just have to enjoy, stay here and enjoy Georgia and just wait till we can go back to Florida again. <laughs> but anyway, this soup today is a low carb soup. And uh, I'm making this, trying to help Kevin on his uh, weight. It's not exactly a weight loss uh, diet that he's on, but it's just a, more of a low carb diet. <laughs> And so um, the ingredients in my recipe today is Velveeta cheese, one pound of hamburger meat, a can of corn, some black beans, some rotel tomatoes, and some petite tomatoes. And this right here is beef broth. And um, this recipe, like I said, it's a real easy recipe. And I think that if y'all make it, y'all are going to really enjoy it. And especially the people that are trying to cut the carbs, I know they're going to really enjoy it. And it's really an easy meal to make. And it's a quick meal. After you put all the ingredients in and the cheese melts, it's, it just goes for about 10 minutes. So it's real quick and easy to put together. And uh, you can have it for any party that you're taking it to or any potluck that you're, you're going to. And uh, it's really a meal in itself. And uh, what I'm gonna be serving mine with after I cook it, now Calvin, he probably won't do this. But I'm going to put some uh, purple onions over mine and a little bit more uh, jalapeno peppers. And I always say that. But Kevin, now how do you say that word again? It's jalapeno. <laughs> jalapeno. Every time I say jalapeno, but it's jalapeno. Y'all excuse me. <laughs> but anyway, this soup is going to be good. And so I'm going to get started on it. And so um, let me go over here to my pot and brown my hamburger meat. So I'm going to get started now. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is put my one pound of hamburger meat in my pot and brown it. Turn my eye on to about medium or burner. <laughs> I've really been enjoying my new cookware that uh, one of my subscribers sent me. <laughs> I woke up this morning to a frost on the ground. <laughs> to us in Georgia, that's snow. <laughs> But it's going to warm up today to 60 degrees. So. That'll be good, won't it, Calvin? <laughs> yes, it will be. I know what somebody can do when it does warm up. What's your plans for me? <laughs> no, I'm just joking. <laughs> Those leaves can stay on the ground. <laughs> well, they'll be all right. <laughs> They'll still be there next year. <laughs> There's not many out there anyway. Okay. Now it's getting some sizzle to it. I 
I hope you like this. So everybody that I read the comments on it, I think they did love it. Well, it's got a lot of good ingredients that I know that I enjoy, and it's got very few carbs. Yeah. So I think I'll enjoy it. I'm going to miss uh, either having some chips or cornbread with it, but I'll just eat it without those. <laughs> I wonder what you could substitute. I don't know. We'll have to research that, won't we? Yeah. There's not much to substitute for cornbread. <laughs> <laughs> no, there isn't, is there? Now, there is this one bread that people make. I don't know how many carbs it's got. It may be completely carb-free, but that cloud bread, yeah. but I don't know if it's any good or not. I had never made it. I've been okay bread. I can do without bread. Uh, I do enjoy cornbread, but I can do without it. <laughs> oh, man, I love my cornbread. <laughs> but I'm not going to have any cornbread today. <laughs> Then I am going to be having some chips. I'll hide them from you so you won't see. <laughs> That's okay. All right, let me finish browning this and get it drained, and then I'll be back. Okay, I have my hamburger meat already browned and drained, so now I'm going to put in my taco seasoning. I'm going to steer this up into the meat. Mm, those seasonings smell good. Can you smell them, Calvin, from where you are? Uh, I sure can, Marie. They smell great. Okay. Now then, I'm going to put in my one pound of Velveeta cheese, and I've already got it cubed. And so now I'm just going to dump in my rest of my ingredients, my corn, and I'm adding the liquid with it. I'm adding my black beans now. My rotel tomatoes. My petite diced tomatoes. And my chicken broth. I said chicken broth, but this is beef broth, y'all. <laughs> my director has to keep me in line. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna keep uh, stirring this till the cheese melts, and uh, then I'll cook it for 10 minutes. Uh, Marie, this is called a Mexican cheese soup, mm -hmm. but it sure is looking like a very good chili right now. And also a uh, taco uh, soup. It yep. looks like mm -hmm. that too. I'm surprised at how quick it cooks up. Yeah, I forgot to mention that you can also cook this in a slow cooker. And it takes about two hours in the slow cooker. Where on the, uh, the stove top, it only takes about, after the cheese melts, you just cook it for about 10 minutes on a simmer. This soup was real simple and easy to make, and it really looks like it's going to be delicious. Look at that. That's good vegetables in it. Okay, my cheese has smelted in my soup now, so I'm going to uh, let it simmer for about 10 minutes, and then I'll be back and I'll plate a supper plate.
Okay, my soup is done now, and so I'm going to go over here and plate us up a bowl. Calvin only wanted two scoops. I'm going to put some onion on mine. And just a little bit of jalapeno pepper. Okay, when this cools off, I'll do the taste test. You can top it with whatever you want to, and I'm going to put just a little extra cheese on it. And I'm going to eat some of these with mine. <laughs> I'm not making too much racket. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm going to try to do the taste test now. And it is hot. It is steaming right off the spoon. That is so delicious. And it's a real easy meal to make. And um, after you get all your ingredients in, it only takes about 10 minutes of cooking time after the cheese melts. And if you make this meal, I'm sure you're gonna like it. You could make it also for lunch or dinner. And we're gonna be um, eating ours probably for lunch and dinner <laughs> today. But um, Kevin's really going to like this. So I'm going to close our video out now. And I'll eat my wonderful lunch. And so y'all do what you love and love what you do. And we'll see y'all in the next video. Bye. Things are falling like the tide. And the match that drew a spark was a single stolen key. I've kept my feelings grounded And gone without all kept within By these high walls I've been surrounded Walls to her eyes only paper Now why?